Hey, let's talk about God. Well, some people say God, and, and of course you have the Allah and the Yahweh and whoever else they got. I like the Great Spirit personally, also the American Indians from American Indians, but they also have uh, the Great Mystery, which is really good. The Great Mystery is like probably the best. But you know, if you have to think about this, if you have the Great Mystery, that means that you have to solve, there's, there's something to be solved. As Neely Fuller says that every morning you wake up, you're supposed to be questions and answers. So every morning you have to have a, answer a question that you have, a mystery that you you might have. You see what I mean? But let me have you. Now let me let me, let me define. No, no, let me define God for me. I would go to that route that everybody has got. Well, I won't get into that right now. But everybody has God and all the rest of that stuff. There now, because you know every cell that you have is already is it, within the cell is mirrored one way, and then beyond the cell into the universe is mirrored another way. So you have infinity in both ways. So you are the source. You are the you are the primal source of your infinity that it goes. You know, I won't say negative infinity. The infinity that goes one way and infinity. You know, the infinity sign. The infinity sign. You know, like a pen, and they got the other one like that, sort of thing. So you're the point right there, and you, you're in the middle. You, know, you see them, so you're the source. But let me tell you my uh, concept of God. I was in, I was in Dr. Roy Klaus's class. You know, uh, the, the philosophy instructor that, that I was so impressed with from taking uh, uh, the extension courses from Trenton State College. And so, but let, let me cut to the chase and explain to you my concept of God. Which have all these concepts. But one thing, to take flights, you realize all those guys, you know, those, those guys, they always talk about like Kant, Spinoza, and all those kind of people like that. You know, what I noticed from them is they all came down to one source. So, so one person was enamored with mathematics, and mathematics would be their source or their God, that they would put everything and revolve everything around that. You know, if, like, you know, it's, you get where it's going. Um, so I came with this thing, and it comes from, in catechism, Catholic Church. I think, yeah, I had to do catechism. I'll go into that one at a time where I just skip skip catechism. Like, and I won't say I kicked, kicked up, but I failed. But then I had to take it the next year and finally pass your catechism. Everybody passes, you know, whatever it is. But the one of the things, one of the things that you learn from the catechism, it's not actually. I don't know if it's in the. I don't know if it's in the Bible, and I don't remember reading it. But it's like, I guess it is there someplace. God is everywhere. God sees. No, no, I'm sorry. Catechism. God sees you. <laughs> Wherever you are, God sees you. That sounds kind of spooky, whatever have you. But then, uh, I, I was uh, hanging out one time. There was this, anyway. This young girl came back from. She had, she had been. She was being homeschooled, and the home and 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 her mother would just let, uh, would hire somebody, say for instance, of uh, uh, an artist to take it to a museum, and then they, they explained to da 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 da. That's homeschool, but it's really cool if you can really do it. Anyway, she came back all excited. She said, "You know what I found out today? That every any, wherever you are in the world." Within six feet of you, there's a spider. That's interesting. Within six feet, there's a spider. That's right. Now, if you go to the thing that that you know you're the essence of God, but God is in everything. There's a through line that goes to everything. You, you, you know, you know, like in, you know, like in, where is it? Do I have it here? Yeah. You know, like in, in Guardians of the Galaxy, right? And then, uh, oh, this is Volume One. It's not Volume Two. Well, volume two has it. Anyway, in volume two, you know, where, where, where the, the character, the blue character with the fin on it, and then he's whistling, and then the thing goes around, goes through everybody. You know, it's like that. God is in everything. If God is in everything, right, including spiders within the six feet of you, but also let's, let's consider dust mites. There's dust mites all around. That means that. God is in dust mites. So wherever you are, God actually does see you if you want to go that route. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it's confusing, but think about it, you know? So if God is there, remember, but, but if God is there and God can see you, then it's only on you to say, well, am I doing what God wants? Am I doing what God needs to see me doing? You see? That's the question you have if you go that route. Well, either route you go, you know? Okay. So... That's it. That's that's by little uh, thought on God. 
which means that God sees us, everything we're doing, including our work at ADOS, American Descendant of Child Slavery, and it's time that we all rose up together because our God is in everything. Think about it, God is in everything. I think that's one of the things that the Great Spirit, you see, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a, this is Red Cloud. A red Cloud, you know, when he saw what the, he had defeat the American, um, you know, army, the, the American uh, troops or whatever have you, became a diplomat. And when he went to Washington, D.C., when he came back, he told his Sioux Nation, I mean, the quote that you see right now, he said, look, we can't beat them. Just hold on. God, great spirit, will take care of everything. You just got to hold on. Of course, they didn't have, hold on very well because of whatever reason. But the point is that, hey, I think it's happening right now. God, the great spirit is finally saying, look, everybody, you got I get you got the tools, do what you need to do to make this thing right, to make humanity come back. Because they took humanity. Our problem is not that we have policy, whatever. Our problem is that folks don't practice humanity. There's the problem. That's the message from for God, the God within me and the God within you. Me being T from the past, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a death of the American descendants of chattel slavery. That would be us, God's people.